Hi, this video is for slicing. So my clients double draped and sectioned into five sections. My hands have already been sanitized, I have my gloves on and I already have my product. So what we're gonna do for slicing is just that. We're gonna take slices of hair. So I always like to leave my hairline natural. That way it doesn't look like my client has a outgrowth within a couple of weeks. So I'm gonna go ahead and take about an inch section down from the back. And then I'm gonna go ahead and section this in half again. So I have no more width than a half an inch. Remember the larger the sections, the more stripey it's gonna look like your client has stripes. And the farther away from the scalp you're going to be. The narrower, smaller the sections, the closer you can get to the scalp. So I'm gonna go ahead and fold my foil. And as I do this, I'm gonna place the foil along the scalp, kind of lift the hair up and put a little bit of tension on it and kind of lift this comb up underneath to where I'm getting as close to the scalp as possible and pull this hair down with tension. I wanna have enough tension on this hair that when I remove my comb, it stays, the foil stays. So right about the fold, where I have the fold, I'm gonna take my product and push it down with the brush so that this product will seep all the way through and adhere to the foil. Then I'm gonna brush down in one long stroke. Now my product is stuck to the foil. Once I do that, I can come along the back, roll the ends up, and come along the top up here where I have kind of a glob of product, hold my brush, at about a 45 degree angle either towards you or away from you and just feather out this product at the scalp so that I don't have a hard line. You don't want to go all the way up to the scalp if you're using lightener because the heat from the hair will or the heat from the head will draw the product up to the scalp which it'll seep out over the edge of the foil and give you a line which is called a bleed. Okay so now that I have this I'm going to fold my foil and then I'm gonna fold my edges in, or I can fold my edges in that way. What I wanna make sure that I'm not doing is smashing this foil because I don't want that product to seep out onto the hair that I don't want any product on. So that's a slice down here on the bottom. Again, I'm gonna take, and this is just one of the mini parting patterns of many techniques that are out there, but how you place the foils is what we want you to know. So I'm gonna go ahead and take about another inch Separate this again. Remember the smaller the sections, the more slicing you're gonna get. The larger the sections, the more chunky you're gonna get. Now the first time I folded my foil towards me, um, I'm gonna continue to fold my foil towards me just about an inch, placing it again underneath, putting enough pressure down. And then I would continue up this side. Now when I get to the area in the apex where the head is the widest, if I'm coming along with single foils and I come up here and this is too wide for a single foil, what I will have to do is divide this section in half. So I would come across and just foil this piece And then I would have to foil this piece.
Oh, that didn't get folded, very good. But that's how I would do the back. When I get to the sides, what I would do on the sides is either go diagonal forward or diagonal back. If you don't do a diagonal on the side and you do a horizontal, what it's gonna look like is if they pull their hair back, you're gonna see a lot of stripes on the head. So if you're gonna go diagonal forward or diagonal back, it doesn't matter. But again, leave your hair lying. Uh, diagonal, let's see, if you go diagonal forward and you pull the hair back, it's going to be less noticeable. If you go diagonal back with your partings and you pull the hair back, it's going to be more noticeable. So it's just going to depend on what your client likes and that is to be determined during consultation. So again, you're going to be doing the same thing on the sides leaving the hairline natural. And again, I like to leave the hairline natural all the way around the head, just because I don't see the line of outgrowth so much. And I also um, think that the hairline is more fragile than the rest of the hair. So by leaving it natural, it just looks more natural for the client and less breakage around the hairline if that's to happen. So again, on your diagonal, place this down and do the same thing, bring it up towards the top, feather it up there, get those ends in, and fold your hair up. And I would continue up the side and you know, do the other side all at the same time. If you're using lightener, you start in the back because that's where hair is the darkest, so it's gonna take longest to process. If you're using color and you're trying to cover gray, you're gonna to wanna to start in the front. Okay, so I've done my whole head. I'm gonna come down here now and do my top. In the back area here, what I've shown you is folding the foils towards me. Now I'm gonna show you a different way that I like to do this on the top of my head just because I think it's easier to get closer to the scalp. So as I'm on the top, and I always start at the back, I always do my back sections first, and then I move to my sides, and then I do my top last. Another reason why I do that is hair doesn't always process at the same time, so it's easier to remove the foils from the back than it is to try to take them off the front and leave them on the back. Plus, I feel like I'm not working over work that I've already done. So I'm gonna take my slice on the top here. And instead of folding my foil towards me, I'm gonna fold my foil away from me. I'm still gonna place it. Oh, let's get this out of my way. I'm still gonna place it on the scalp just like I would. I'm still gonna put the product on about an inch away and bring this down, making sure that I have my hair saturated. But now what I'm going to do is fold this into thirds instead of halves. Once I get this folded into thirds, I can lift this up, place my comb right at the scalp and get it a little bit closer and then fold this. This is a really good technique in the front also because you don't have all these foils hanging in someone's uh, face. So again, I'm going to do my slice Let's see, let's get my bigger slice here. Again, what I wanna do is fold it away from me. Place it on the scalp. this in thirds. Get that as close to the scalp as possible and fold in my corners. I'm going to continue this process all the way till I get to about one inch in front of the apex. 
So the apex is where my comb is going to balance, the highest point on the head. So I'm going to continue doing my slices until I get to this area. Okay, so it's about a couple inches. There'll be a couple foils here. I'm going to section out my front hairline and leave that natural. So I'll take about my inch parting again. Take my slice again. Fold this away from me. Most people's hair grow forward here in the front. So by placing your foils forward like this, you get a better result because you're not trying to push the hair back and the foil will slide up and then you'll have a nice big line of demarcation there. By folding it this way, you can get closer to the scalp and it just looks more natural. So when you finish your application, and well, once you re finish your application, you'll want to do a test strand. And once you reach your desired degree of lightness or darkness, you will follow manufacturer's directions. I'm gonna go back to the shampoo bowl, shampoo condition, style, and finish according to manufacturer's directions and what your client and you have decided upon during your consultation. Now, I would not wait until I am completely finished with my application to check it. Okay, you, when, if you're using lightener, you want to check this hair about every 10 minutes once you start to get an idea of how this hair is lightening up. If you're using color, manufacturer's processing time is usually 30 to 45 minutes, so you know you have that much time. But once you put your first foil in, you should start your timing. You don't want to exceed the time limit uh, according to manufacturer's directions because you could be causing damage to the hair. So you want to make sure that you follow, you know, all of the manufacturer's directions. So again, once you've reached your desired color, you'll shampoo, condition, and style according to manufacturer's directions and client consultation. And that's how you do a slice.